What's your name? Huh? Are you guarding my camera? You won't let me have it back? You keep snapping at me. Huh? Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And as you can see, I've got a big pig trap loaded on the trailer. I'm going to go set up for a buddy. This is actually a second big pig trap. This, uh, this is a trap I went and picked up from a friend of mine, Josh, the guy that comes in, well, in the past has come and picked up all the pigs for us when we trap them and haul them off to a, uh, a hunting ranch and sell them. Anyways, Josh was testing one of these out for, uh, Jack Robertson, the guy that owns Big Pig Trap and Hall Guy Cameras. He's been testing one out for a while. He uses a couple other brands. I think he sells a different brand of trap. And anyways, just wanted to test one out. So Jack said, hey, he's done with it. Go pick it up if you got somewhere to use it. So I've got my first trap set out on a ranch north of our Mill Creek place. And we've had it there for a few weeks and there were like no pigs showing up. Went over a couple days ago, moved the trap about 500 yards down the hill. The very first night, pigs showed up. night and that's been several nights they have not been back in there but there are pigs in the area and we know that so i don't want to go tear that trap down just got lucky enough to have a second trap that i can use and i've got another buddy since deer season's winding down everybody's kind of finished with their hunting properties and they're wanting to get rid of pigs but i've got a buddy matter of fact you guys have seen his property i took the skid steer over there with that big swing boom side cutter and did a bunch of work and they they hauled in a big camper and uh he's got a couple of deer feeders out just to watch and see what all's on his property and for the last week like every single night there's been a group of wild hogs showing up and, and he knew it was inevitable they're they're kind of on the edge of a, a large ranch several thousand acres and uh there's a lot of pigs in the area and it was just a matter of time before they showed up at his deer feeder so we're gonna go set this trap up he couldn't he can't get away from work right now so i'm gonna go set it up for him and uh hopefully those pigs will start showing up like they are at his deer feeder. Ready to hit the road, partner? here's what we're working with it's still pretty muddy out here but there's a nice grassy spot right there i think we'll set it right there because if we do catch pigs i've got to be able to get josh in here with a livestock trailer so my buddy has a deer feeder set up in the timber here and uh i just kind of peeked in here a minute ago and he said he dumped 50 pounds of corn on the ground yesterday and there's a little bit on the ground but not much you got a game camera set up right here i ought to go moon it <laughs> anyways you can see everything's all been torn up by the pigs and he said and i can kind of see the the sign myself but the pigs are running up and down this road and there's a lot of a lot of sign a lot of tracks in the mud so pigs are coming all up and down this road it's basically just a a dozer trail he's uh opened up a little two-track road in here over the last year or so and the pigs are using it so we're going to set the trap Right on the edge of the road, we'll be about, I don't know, 15 yards from the feeder. And there's a deer rub right there. See it on that cedar tree?
All right, y'all. Camera's all good to go. Got got a little bit of cell phone strength, but not a ton. Trap set, baited, safety pins are out. I think we're good to go. Now it's about 6 p.m. It took me about 45 minutes to get this trap set up by myself, and it was mostly because I forgot the uh, the adapter, the bit that goes in my cordless impact to cinch all those bolts down. Earl, get off my other trap. I don't like that. Um, I really wish I could have got out here a couple hours ago because those pigs have been showing up here at about uh, 6.30, between 6.30 and 7, I believe. So I want to get out of here. Probably not going to see pigs tonight. Might get lucky. I doubt we catch tonight. I doubt it. I don't even know that I would drop the trap unless it's just completely slapped full of pigs. All right, let's load up. Let's go. Good boy. I'll tell you what, Earl. You're about as good a dog as a man could ask for. Even with your fancy girly curly hair there. You're a good boy. All right, buddy. Good luck. Do me right. Catch some pigs. So tomorrow morning, I've got to get up and go help with another uh, prescribed fire. One of the one of the uh, guys that came and helped us as a landowner in the area, and they're doing a, a big prescribed fire on their property tomorrow. So I may bring you guys along. If we don't catch any pigs tonight, we're going to go start a big fire tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we'll get some pigs either here or at the other farm. I mean, got to be some pigs moving somewhere. So anyways. Let's get out of here before it gets dark. Look who decides to show up this time. Mr. Yeah. Superstar. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. I'm going to have to open her up. Not doing a very good job. No, I'm not. Here we go. We got about 9,000 people here to help today. Should go good. showed up today. I'm here. You know Somebody what told doing? me I got to use the trip card, so. <laughs> yeah. Watch out, there's a fire, Dusty. Looks just like something Dusty would do. Walk right behind the guy putting out a fire, lighting the fire. <laughs>
We're gonna get to cooking once we get this backing fire done and get it all flanked around. Go back and start this head fire. It's really gonna cook. This burn's a little bit different than ours. This is almost all grass where we're at. We're actually on, well, burn number three of the day. This was actually the biggest. It's about 80 acres. I think we burned 20 and 17. And now we're on an 80 acre track and it is all native grass. And it's going very well, even with the winds. This might get interesting right here. It's gonna burn hot for a little while through all those briars. nice to get out and do some work and see some uh, other folks that don't like cedar trees too. <laughs> He's got cedar trees cut everywhere over there. So this is the difference in a backing fire and a head fire. We are uh, on the upwind side of the fire and it's blowing that fire across this field. So you can see it's backing into the fire line really slow, but going across the field really fast. this native this all native grass out here that uh, has been allowed to grow burning it off and you can see it'll it'll uh, green up and take off again soon funny story guys uh, that cement slab right there is what's left of the first house where that DJ and I ever lived in together it was a rent house and uh, we pulled up and parked right here went into the side the front door was up there first house we ever lived in look at it um, wow it is incredibly small uh, I had no idea <laughs> it was that small so you come in side door we had a living room Went to the front door, kitchen, laundry was all over there, two bedrooms and a bathroom. And uh, believe it or not, a couple of years after we moved out, I would say a couple, it was several years after we moved out, this house got hit by a tornado, completely knocked it down all but about two walls, and that's all that's left.
Well, hey y'all, as you can see, we dropped the trap last night on a pretty good sized group of pigs. I have no idea how many we caught uh, in the real world. This wouldn't have happened, but in the ideal world, it wouldn't have happened like this, but where that camera's at, it's running on cellular service. So the camera was lagging several seconds behind and I sit and watched it for a while and sit and watched it for a while and I said, I'm just gonna drop it and catch what we catch. I don't think we caught the whole group. I think we probably have five or six in the trap, but it was lagging several seconds behind. So when I hit the drop button, the whole trap was full of pigs. I don't know how many we caught. Now, this is not actually where we went and set the trap the other night. This is a trap that we took out uh, north of our, on a property owner north of our Mill Creek property, I don't know, over a month ago. I went back a few weeks ago, well, a week and a half ago, and we moved that trap about 500 yards because we hadn't had a single pig stop by the trap. So we moved it down a hill into a big ag field where uh, cows have been grazing all the turds, all the cow turds had been flipped over and rooted up and stuff. So we knew the pigs were moving through that area and uh, got, got camera, got pictures on camera, pigs on camera. The very first night, there was like, whoa, there was like six pigs and then nothing for a week until last night. So got the boys woke up early this morning. Yeah. We're gonna go get some pigs out of the trap. Yeah. So for anyone that's not familiar with what we're doing, these, these are feral pigs. They're wild and they're a nuisance. They're a problem. They are not a game species. They're totally horribly, terribly bad for the, the native species and the environment. They eat turkeys, eat turkey eggs, eat quail and quail eggs, any ground nesting bird, baby fawns, anything they can catch and destroy, they will eat. And they do millions of dollars of damage to agriculture fields and things. So the guy that's with us now is Josh. He uh, He's kind of like the David Ellis, the yacht yacht of Southern Oklahoma. He has pig traps all around and he comes and picks these pigs up for us and takes them to a, uh, a high fenced hunting ranch and sells them. So it's kind of a, it's basically become his job. It's a way for, that he can help landowners get rid of pigs and sell them to a high fence hunting ranch. People come in and hunt them and then they can process them and take them home and eat them or do whatever they choose to do with them. But either way, we are removing them from the ecosystem because they are not supposed to be here. A feral pig is not a good animal to have on your property. Oh, and in the videos, if you saw what looked like eyeballs in the background, those are blinking lights on all these windmills. That's not eyeballs from other pigs, but the windmills at night all have a red blinking light. So that's what you see in those videos. We didn't catch any big pigs. Nah, that's okay. I wasn't sure how many we caught since the uh, the camera was lagging real bad. They looked bigger on the on the video. Kirk, your pigs aren't very mean. <laughs> They're just like little pets. Boys, he saved those two for y'all. Yeah. 
Hop in there and get him. <laughs> I don't want to turn into murder kill. Those would uh, those would be the perfect size just to throw on a grill, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> size for your grill, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there. I need my camera back. Get out. What's your name? Huh? Are you guarding my camera? You won't let me have it back? Keep snapping at me. Huh? I want my camera back. Let me have it. Uh -huh. I got it. All right, traps reset. We are rebated and uh, Hopefully the rest of that group shows up in a day or two. And you know, ideally we would want to drop that trap when we have the whole sounder in there. And uh, when I hit drop on the trap on the app last night, the trap was full of pigs. So we caught five. I think there was probably eight in there. There's a couple things. So on that, with the wire that drops, you know, runs in from the, from the camera to drop that, you'll see a little bitty light on there. And I promise you, I think a pig looked up and saw that light and went poof, bolted out. So I may need to tape that little plug in up so it doesn't light up. And uh, the camera was just lagging really bad. As you, you can see on the screen recording from my phone, when I hit drop, it was, we were lagging four or five seconds in between the updates. So not the ideal situation, but still happy landowner, happy Josh for, he gets to go sell those pigs. I just let him take them and he goes and sells them. He gets, um, he gets to go get money. Yeah, he's gonna sell them. He makes a profit off of it. And uh, I'm happy we got to catch some pigs in the, the big pig pig trap. So maybe we'll catch some more in a few days. So this is the property that we, we are trapping right now. And uh, this little county road goes through here. I wanna show you the trail that the pigs have going under the fence. It is unreal if I can find it. Right. right here. Look at that trail. It's uh catching a lot of traffic. 